Okay, I need to build a quick 36 volt e-bike battery. Um, and uh, I think I'm trying to keep the battery on the smaller and lighter side. So I'm going to do a 4P10S. Um, no, no, sorry. Four, yeah, 4P10S configuration for 36 volts. Um, I'm using these LG... Um, uh, these are the um, MH, MH1s, and they are um, 3200 milliamps, and uh, they are 10 amp capable. So these batteries are perfectly good for a um, small e-bike battery, and with this, with the higher capacity of 3200 milliamps, I won't actually even be giving up that much capacity um, for this for this battery. So um, I think these will work good. And so, uh, and I'm going to use um, my spot welders that I've been testing. Um, uh, you know, I, I like I like this one similar to my original style spot welder. Um, um, but I will definitely finish off my spot welds with with the heavy hitter and do the um, you know when I have to do the nickel connections, I'll use my heavy hitter. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's uh, let's put a battery together here. Okay, battery is together. I'm gonna to use a 0.15, the thicker nickel. Um, and uh, let's begin.
Okay, there is uh, half the battery complete. I'll flip this over, do this side, and I'll bring you back when I'm installing the BMS. Okay, so the spot welding on this battery is complete. Um, I did end up pretty much using my, my favorite spot welder on the whole thing. It does get hot, um, but you know, taking breaks to cut more nickel and, and a couple other breaks, and um, it made it through, um, made it through uh, spot welding this battery. You can see the um, spot welds turned out beautifully. Very happy with the quality of the spot welds and this battery. And uh, now it's, so the battery is ready. Um, and now, and our main, main negative is there and our main positive is here. We need to attach a BMS on the side. Um, off the negative, this is a 45 amp uh, common port BMS. So we'll attach this on the side, put some balance wires, an XT60, and heat shrink this thing, and this battery will be ready. Okay, so I have the BMS attached. The battery negative goes to the battery, and then the exit of the BMS goes off to this XT60, and I have the positive connected. Next up is the balance leads. Um, let's figure out which way they go this way and then when you install these balance leads you install the negative wire first on the negative and then you install the positive wires in order from least negative to most negative so if this is negative from least positive to most positive so the black wire will attach to the negative here this will attach to the first positive after the negative which will be this positive right here then the next wire will attach to the next positive which will be this positive here and so on and so forth until the last positive should attach at the end here so uh, and i just use solder for this part um a little a little blob of solder stick the wire in and off you go okay don't do what i just did and realize that this is a 10s battery or t yeah 10s battery and this is a 7s bms in my head, I, I don't know why I didn't click. I went, I went and grabbed a BMS, had the right amperage, and I usually build in 7S. Didn't even think about it until the fact that this, this is a 7S BMS, and this is a um, you know, 10S battery. So I have to rip this off and order myself a, uh, a, um, a, t a 10S BMS. That's unfortunate. Okay, after that uh, mess up, I am back. I actually just decided to grab a BMS off an old battery of mine that is a 10S. So this is a used BMS, but it'll be fine. The wiring is a bit 
buggered, so I might have to do some extending of some of these um, some of these balance leads. But this will at least allow me to you know get the project together and get it going. So let's do this thing. So here is our first black lead. I think I'll run it underneath here, over to our negative here, and attach it. And in fact, since I got this tape here, I might as well tuck it under this tape just to keep things neat. Okay, black wire is through and attach. All right, that's our first, um, that's our negative. So now we need our next positive. Get some of this hot glue off from my previous project. Okay, so we need our number two lead. Number two lead is this. And this will come over here to our first positive. Again, I'm going to try running into this tape to keep it clean. There we go. Okay, our first positive is this over here. Throw a little solder on this. Okay, and blob it down. Okay, balance wire is attached. Okay, the battery is finished. The BMS is attached. Um, all wired in, all the balance leads are attached. It's pretty nice and neat. I will probably put some, um, some of this green uh, battery paper on top of the battery and uh, heat shrink it up and that'll be uh, a quick 36 volt um, BMS battery uh, or uh, e-bike battery ready to go. Hope you enjoyed.